Kitchen's a bit of a tip, excuse that. I've just received this parcel and it says flying drones on the front of it. And I reckon this is my new Mavic Pro. This one is the exciting one. <laughs> this is not the Emma Bridge Water Cup, which is also very lovely. Um, this is the new Mavic Pro. I'm off filming on Tuesday and I didn't think we were gonna be able to get hold of this. It has literally been that hard. The waiting list is big. This is a Mavic Pro out of the box. And mm, <laughs> that looks sexy. Okay, so in the box you've got, that is the drone. Let me just get rid of the box for a second because I just want to show you how extraordinary. That is the entire drone. You can see it's got its um, rotor blades <laughs> tucked in there. That, that is the drone. <laughs> that is the whole drone. The remote, more of that in a minute. Charging cables, spare rotor blades, instructions. This is literally out of the box. I haven't read the instructions or anything, um, but I'm just gonna have a play. Hold on. So that opens up like that, that opens up like that. Should I? Should I read the instructions? Oh, that bends around like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they bend, they bend out. These ones bend under and around. Oh my God. Okay, there isn't enough. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can't believe I've got a Mavic Pro. Oh my God, what's it doing? I don't know, it just looks very cool. <laughs> and it turns your hands red. Annoyingly, I've got to charge the battery. That's to be expected really, isn't it? That is the remote intelligent battery. Smaller than a Phantom 3 and a Phantom 4. Battery's charging. Remove the gimbal clamp from the camera. Is that a gimbal clamp? Oh my god. Look at that. That. Okay, so it comes with a very well protected camera. Look at the integration of that camera. Crikey. Okay, and then as often on a DJI product, it has a little gimbal thing to stop it moving around in transport. Now I've already heard from other people who have flown these that although they're meant to be absolutely perfect with that sort of Star Trek like shield around the bottom that actually you can tell and that this that this plastic here isn't isn't as a hundred percent transparent as you'd like it to be and it does affect the filming quality so I've had people tell me that they've preferred filming bareback so to speak that is so cool. We still haven't got any propellers on the front. Right, this is, <laughs> these tiny little propellers that look like toys. <laughs> and they're not carbon fiber, they're just plastic. And they're completely bendable. And they literally just clip on as simple as that. That's it, that's on. There's no screwing. There's no ability for it to unscrew. That's it. This piece of kit is extraordinary. <laughs> when I was a kid, I always wanted to have a remote control helicopter. Never in my wildest dreams did I realise that remote control helicopters would become this cool. They were those big clunky things that took about two years to build and were so difficult to fly that you would invariably crash them on the first flight. But not anymore. They're really easy. So far so good. Calibrate compass. Okay. Rotate aircraft 360 degrees horizontally. 360 degrees vertically. It's saying it's successful. No thanks. Let's just fly. Oh! <laughs>
It's got GPS enabled, so it can just act like a tripod in the sky, which for me, for self-filming, is so useful. I can literally set that up in the sky and just use it to film me. But it gets much more fun than this. If you go into active track, watch this. You see that? It's tracking me. Now, I'm not flying this drone, and yet it's tracking me. So if you look up at the actual drone, it's flying itself. And there's me, and there's the drone. and there are the dogs. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. That enables me, essentially, to be able to put this away in my pack and I can film my own aerials without even having to use a remote control. Okay, next thing you can do, which is also mental, now you can see that the drone <laughs> is orbiting me. It's orbiting the point of interest. I'm not doing anything. It is literally orbiting me. Pretty extraordinary, I think you have to admit. Um, never in my wildest dreams when I was a kid growing up did I ever think that drones <laughs> would be operatable by Everybody, pretty much. This is under a thousand pounds. I know that's actually quite a lot. It's not a toy though. This enables you to film. This is cinematic quality. <laughs> this is extraordinary and it fits in your pocket. Quite frankly, I am completely and utterly sold. I'm not endorsed or sponsored or anything by DJI. I have no reason to promote their products and yet this just stands out alone as being absolutely extraordinary.